Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought? On board? Who keeps ordering these? We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Do return in one piece, Captain. I'd wager this is the outpost. Rebecca! Anders! Come on out! Take a gander. The door's busted. Rebecca? Anders? You in there? Huh. Rebecca taught me this once. You can jerry-rig these old locks so as they don't open anymore. But we've only ever done that if we're in a real bind. Here, I'll fix it. Oh, no. 
Oh, no. What did you do? This is an unfortunate sight indeed. My condolences. I don't... They were... That bitch! They were all set to abandon us! What would Clara say, huh? Every day she'd ask if we heard from you. And she'd have forgiven you! The kid had a soul that made the sulfur smell like roses! Ugh. Hard to leave your medallions to rot with you, but... Clara would want to be buried with her sister. At least, at least I know. Ought to have learned by now that getting one's hopes up tends to open them to being dashed across the stars. I hate to say this, but Clara died thinking her sister was still fighting to get back home. I think I'm glad. If she were still alive now, it'd break her to know the truth. Yeah, maybe. I'm used to disappointment. She was still so naive as to let it hurt her every time it happened. Only thing left is to take these medallions home, which means figuring out how to bait the Mana Queen out of our old base. The most pissed off I've ever seen a queen was when a foreign species was on her soil. I'd wager the stench of a primal might do the trick. Pfft, that'd be boring. Half the fun in exploring is the fact that you're on an unknown trail. I've never had the pleasure of hunting primals, but I hear they're all over Scylla. Let's tear a few apart, shall we? I'm sure they've got pheromones. Everything does. Destination reached, the Groundbreaker. Hey, be careful with those crates, huh? Lemon, flat, flat. 
That gas is going to make us a fucking mint. A hundred twenty-some cubic meters of it, at a million bits a pop. Take this, you've earned it. When we get buyers lined up, I'm gonna buy a gold toilet to shit in. You're goddamn right. Monarch isn't exactly a walk down the lanes of Byzantium. But here you are with all your limbs attached. Call me impressed, contractor. No one you saw, anyway. Glad to see you're looking out for yourself. You've been keeping busy. I hear you took on some extra work at Fallbrook. Catherine says the factory needs some repairs before it's back to working order. But at least it's under our control. Hey, when you were at the slaughterhouse, those swine didn't give you any... strange looks, did they? Like they were hanging on to your every word, scheming. And when you turned around, maybe they just point like innocent little idiots. I knew it. I'm probably getting worked up over nothing. Just try not to think about pigs. You never know, you know? I've got a lot on my mind, but... It's nothing that concerns you. At least, not yet. I have another job lined up, assuming you're still interested in work. They're gonna salvage me a space station. Heliospheric Research Station 1084, to be exact. I want it. Cobwebs and all. Interested? We're gonna take over a whole space station? This is gonna be great! Oh, do we get to stick a flag in the ground? This opportunity won't come around again, Captain. Right now, it's only salvage on paper. Systems and comms have gone dark. Poke around if you're curious why. While the board lets 1084 gather dust, you're gonna swoop in and plant Sublight's flag. Perfectly legit, perfectly legal. Here, this override bypass should get you into the station systems where you can plant my flag. And one last thing. When you get there, make sure you aren't followed. We wouldn't want that. I'm being smart. Try it sometime. I'm on the heels of something big. Play your cards right and I'll clue you in, but right now, I'm not sure who I can trust. Just be careful. Someone might try and use you to get to me. Hey, you got a minute? I can't believe I wanted to shake his hand. I need a shower. It makes you wonder if being a treacherous, two-timing coward is some sort of contagious disease, or if he was just born that way. At first, I liked what Graham was doing. The iconoclasts were gonna change Halcyon for the better. But then, we found out Graham was behind the slaughter of Amber Heights. How can anybody so morally bankrupt lead a movement to transform the colony? Nah, he was sorry for getting found out. Graham never cared about anybody but himself. You'd never do something like that, would you? Slaughter a whole community of innocents? I'm sure Graham told himself the same thing. He wasn't the one who held the gun and pulled the trigger. All he did was turn a key. The thing is, that's all it takes. Sometimes the difference between right and wrong is turning a key, or looking the other way, or keeping your mouth shut when you ought to speak up. Let's get back to it. I need to put all this ugly business with Graham behind me. Five years go by, they send you a message out of the Aether. What's going through your head? <laughs> you got the wrong idea, boss. It ain't like that. Guy by the name of Clyde Harlow. He was an old friend of mine. Honestly, he was probably my first and longest friend. I just heard from him. Says he wants to talk to me. Says it's urgent. Clyde's waiting for us on Scylla. 
like what he's doing on an asteroid, I can't begin to imagine. I appreciate this, boss. I know you're going out of your way for me. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. Rizzo's knock you out. Thank you. 